Yeah, good evening, Brian. We are out here uh, just off of uh, Hawthorne and Oliver Road right now, Industrial Park. Of course, Joe Biden, Democratic president nominee inside right now, just wrapping up his speech. But uh, we have been outside. I'm going to go ahead and show you the crowd right now. We do have uh, both Democratic and uh, Republican ralliers out here. Of course, we have the Trump pen signs as well as Biden. We even had some uh, working Trump uh, signs together. But what was interesting to see together is we had some people with Biden as well as Trump signs coming together and actually uh, getting along. Now, there has been uh, some arguing going out here. It's kind of contentious a little bit. It's died down a lot. But the entire time that Biden has been in here, there have been supporters out here along the road uh, supporting him. He landed roughly around 345 today. And at the airport, there were also Biden and Trump supporters there. Uh, of course, overwhelming Biden supporters there at the airport when Whenever, uh, he landed. And uh, what was interesting there is I spoke with one gentleman who said that he thinks Biden is going to be a beacon of light for both the Democratic and Republican Party. And what he means by that is saying he's hoping that if Biden is elected to be the president, that he could hopefully mend the two parties together and it can work together. But I want to go ahead and show you down the road as well. Uh, you can see there's probably, I want to estimate about uh, two to 300 people live out here right now. But of course, uh, that is just pinning right here. Some people have left and decided to come back. We do have people, uh, re uh, excuse me, people chanting, Erie loves Joe. That started about four o'clock when we got here. Of course, we'll have continuing coverage of this tonight starting uh, at 10 o'clock on our sister station, Fox 66, as well as Jet 24 Action News at noon. I'll go ahead and send it back to you in the studio.